welcome to Urban Wine Life on the Bougie Black Brother Network. Good afternoon and welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your Bougie Black Brother. And if I'm telling you this, do you know it's Friday's Wine Review? So, this was something a little different that I pulled out. Um, And I did promise y'all that I was going to go through my shelf because shelf lives on wines vary from time to time. You got uh, a couple of red wines that will only go for three to five years and you got some that goes from five to ten years, so on and so forth. So this one that I have today is a Long Street Winery North Coast Winemakers Blend. And this is a blend of different kinds of wines. So they have a shelf life that goes up to 2020 because it's a 2016. So think about that. 2016 is a good four year shelf life. Now, mind you, that's the estimate. We're in 2019 right now. I said, look, let me start going through most of my others. If you see the wine in the back, let's go take a pan up. All my wine that's kind of laid out from right there. I have to go through a lot of these to ensure that I get the right wines and go from that. So we talking about a blend. This is from the California North Coast region. And um, it is assorted oak barrels. That's what it was aged in. So when I was drinking this, I know I was getting that that oaky, uh, uh, woodsy taste on that. But listen to these blends. This is this is what made this kind of interesting to me. Listen to the blends that's actually in this wine. It has a 61 percent Syrah, a 22 percent Merlot, a 14 percent Petite Syrah. 2% 2% Zinfandel and 1% Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, I say the 2% and the 1% of those, those were like, hey, what do you got left over there? Hey, I got some Zinfandel. Hey, pour that in there. Hey, what you got over there? Hey, I got some Cabernet. Yeah, let's pour that in there too. So you, you see the amount of different kind of wines that's in here. This almost is like a dump of wine. Let me just get everything together and just throw it up there. Um, they pretty much said, hey, we wanted the Sinfidel and the Cabernet to lend a little more spice and put some structure in it. So you do know that the Cabernet does have great structure. That'll take that in there. And you got um, the Merlots and the Syrahs that's got that fruity taste, but it bounces all over the place. So also the aroma is supposed to be black cherry, blackberry, Chocolate, licorice, and cedar. And the black cherry, the blackberry, chocolate, and all of that. You'll get a taste of that as well. So this one was really, really interesting to me. And I was like, you know, maybe this was a dump. I wonder how this dump tastes of all of these different wines. And I knew I had to kind of drink this a little soon. So, you know, I grabbed it as a 2016. So let's take it. It's one of my favorite glasses, too. Look at it. I love that. Put it over. Anyway, I'm playing around. So let's get a whiff of this to get the aromas and see if they saying it's true, even though I already drunk half. So I, I do get the slight woodsy taste. If they said it's cedar, I don't go around smelling wood. I may need to do that. So I don't know what an oak and a cedar and a walnut and a pine. Well, I know pine, but I don't know those, but you can you can smell that woodsy smell in that. Not the licorice. Um, and I do get the black cherry. So you know that black cherry. I always associate black cherry with a black cherry soda. So always keep that in mind. So let's taste it. Let's put our taste together. So I like it, and I did like it when I first tried it. (laughs) I know I led you up into this, but I like this one because it's smoother. Um, um, The fruitiness of the black cherries and the blackberries, it's it's right there. It's not fruitful, but it has that bitterness of that fruit when it's not as sweet yet, and it's just got that, 
and it's it's not really tannic it's a lot smoother the acidity isn't isn't really there either but it's got a really good smooth structure of all that especially with having all of these wines together i think that's why the syrah is really just pumping out and i love petite syrah but if you notice i, I really didn't they didn't even have that much it was a 14 percent but you can taste those syrahs that's inside of there i'm not getting this merlot because merlot normally you get a lot more woodsy taste so if you don't like the wood you're not getting a lot of it and and that was a big thing for me so i really felt good on that but this is a really good tasting winemakers blend of all of these different wines so it must be a good science to that for these people to just lay this down and say put this in this what did that taste like uh, it's missing a little something there let's add a petite syrah uh, i need a little structure in this what about a zinfandel yeah not enough but let's try a cabernet to close it out and it was a pretty good tasting wine so this is a really good wine. So Longstreet Winemakers Blend. It's a 2016. If you get your hands on it, remember it's a four or five year old um, aging of that wine. So if you grab that and you got these on these little subscription, make sure you drink that immediately and try not to get some of these that age at that point. But anyway, I'm Michael Yabuzi Black Brother. Follow me on Urban Wine Life, on podcasts, Twitter. Um, go to my IG page where I'll give you some previews of the podcast and things coming up on Bougie Black Bro, B-R-O, Bougie Black Bro. Go to Bougie Black Brother Network on YouTube so you can see what I'm drinking and check out those labels. Let's see. Check out those labels. See that? There you go from that long street. Yeah. So thank you so much. Good wine. And we'll see you next week on Urban Wine Life. Belated.